Section 13 of the Book of Enoch. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 89. From the Death of Noah to the Exodus. And they began to bring forth beasts of the field and birds, so that there arose different genera. Lions, tigers, wolves, dogs, hyenas, wild boars, foxes, squirrels, swine, falcons, vultures, kites, eagles, and ravens, and among them was born a white bull. And they began to bite one another, but that white bull which was born amongst them begat a wild ass and a white bull with it, and the wild asses multiplied. But that bull which was born from him begat a black wild boar and a white sheep, and the former begat many boars, but that sheep begat twelve sheep. And one of those twelve sheep had grown, they gave up one of them to the asses, and those asses again gave up that sheep to the wolves, and that sheep grew up among the wolves. And the Lord brought the eleven sheep to live with it, and to pasture with it among the wolves, and they multiplied and became many flocks of sheep. And the wolves began to fear them, and they oppressed them until they destroyed their little ones, and they cast their young into a river of much water. But those sheep began to cry aloud on account of their little ones, and to complain unto their Lord. And a sheep which had been saved from the wolves fled and escaped to the wild asses, and I saw the sheep how they lamented and cried, and besought their Lord with all their might, till that Lord of the sheep descended at the voice of the sheep from a lofty abode, and came to them and pastured them. And he called that sheep which had escaped the wolves, and spake with it concerning the wolves, that it should admonish them not to touch the sheep. And the sheep went to the wolves according to the word of the Lord, and another sheep met it and went with it. And the two went and entered together into the assembly of those wolves, and spake with them, and admonished them not to touch the sheep from henceforth. And thereupon I saw the wolves, and how they oppressed the sheep exceedingly with all their power, and the sheep cried aloud. And the Lord came to the sheep, and they began to smite those wolves, and the wolves began to make lamentation. But the sheep became quiet, and forthwith ceased to cry out. And I saw the sheep till they departed from amongst the wolves. But the eyes of the wolves were blinded, and those wolves departed in the pursuit of the sheep with all their power. And the Lord of the sheep went with them, as their leader, and all his sheep followed him. And his face was dazzling and glorious and terrible to behold. But the wolves began to pursue those sheep till they reached a sea of water. And the sea was divided, and the water stood on this side and on that before their face. And their Lord led them, and placed himself between them and the wolves. And as those wolves did not yet see the sheep, they proceeded into the midst of that sea, and the wolves followed the sheep, and those wolves ran after them into that sea. And when they saw the Lord of the sheep, they turned to flee before his face, but that sea gathered itself together, and became as it had been created, and the water swelled and rose till it covered those wolves. And I saw till all the wolves who pursued those sheep perished and were drowned. Chapter 89, verses 28 to 40, Israel in the desert, the giving of the law, the entrance into Palestine. But the sheep escaped from that water and went forth into a wilderness where there was no water and no grass. And they began to open their eyes and to see. And I saw the Lord of the sheep pasturing them and giving them water and grass and that sheep going and leading them. And that sheep ascended to the summit of that lofty rock, and the Lord of the sheep sent it to them. And after that I saw the Lord of the sheep who stood before them, and his appearance was great and terrible and majestic, and all those sheep saw him and were afraid before his face. And they all feared and trembled because of him, and they cried to that sheep with them, which was amongst them, We are not able to stand before our Lord, or to behold him. And that sheep which led them again ascended to the summit of that rock. But the sheep began to be blinded and to wander from the way which he had showed them. But that sheep, what not thereof? And the Lord of the sheep was wrathful exceedingly against them. And that sheep discovered it, and went down from the summit of the rock, and came to the sheep, and found the greatest part of them blinded and fallen away. And when they saw it, they feared and trembled at its presence, and desired to return to their folds. 
and that sheep took other sheep with it, and came to those sheep which had fallen away, and began to slay them. And the sheep feared its presence, and thus that sheep brought back those sheep that had fallen away, and they returned to their folds. And I saw in this vision till that sheep became a man, and built a house for the lord of the sheep, and placed all the sheep in that house. And I saw till this sheep which had met that sheep which led them fell asleep. And I saw till all the great sheep perished, and little ones arose in their place, and they came to a pasture, and approached a stream of water. Then that sheep, their leader, which had become a man, withdrew from them and fell asleep. And all the sheep sought it, and cried over it with a great crying. And I saw till they left off crying for that sheep, and crossed that stream of water. And there arose the two sheep as leaders in the place of those which had led them and fallen asleep, literally had fallen asleep and led them. And I saw till the sheep came to a goodly place, and a pleasant and glorious land, and I saw till those sheep were satisfied, and that house stood amongst them in the pleasant land. Chapter 89, verses 41 through 50 From the time of the judges till the building of the temple And sometimes their eyes were opened, and sometimes blinded, till another sheep arose, and led them, and brought them all back, and their eyes were opened. And the dogs, and the foxes, and the wild boars began to devour those sheep, till the lord of the sheep raised up another sheep, a ram from their midst, which led them. And that ram began to butt on either side those dogs, foxes, and wild boars, till he had destroyed them all. And that sheep, whose eyes were opened, saw that ram, which was amongst the sheep, till it forsook its glory, and began to butt those sheep, and trampled upon them, and behaved itself unseemly. And the lord of the sheep sent the lamb to another lamb, and raised it to being a ram and leader of the sheep instead of that ram which had forsaken its glory. And it went to it, and spake to it alone, and raised it to being a ram, and made it the prince and leader of the sheep. But during all these things those dogs oppressed the sheep. And the first ram pursued that second ram, and that second ram arose and fled before it, and I saw till those dogs pulled down the first ram. And that second ram arose and led the little sheep, and those sheep grew and multiplied, but all the dogs and foxes and wild boars feared and fled before it, And that ram butted and killed the wild beasts, and those wild beasts had no longer any power among the sheep, and robbed them no more of aught. And that ram begat many sheep and fell asleep. And a little sheep became ram in its stead, and became prince and leader of those sheep. And that house became great and broad, and it was built for those sheep. And a tower lofty and great was built on the house for the lord of the sheep, And that house was low, but the tower was elevated and lofty. And the lord of the sheep stood on that tower, and they offered a full table before him. Chapter 89, verses 51 through 67. The two kingdoms of Israel and Judah, to the destruction of Jerusalem. And again I saw those sheep, that they again erred and went many ways, and forsook that their house. And the lord of the sheep called some from amongst the sheep, and sent them to the sheep, but the sheep began to slay them. And one of them was saved, and was not slain. And it sped away and cried aloud over the sheep, and they sought to slay it. But the lord of the sheep saved it from the sheep, and brought it up to me, and caused it to dwell there. And many other sheep he sent to those sheep to testify unto them, and lament over them. And after that I saw that when they forsook the house of the Lord and his tower, They fell away entirely, and their eyes were blinded. And I saw the Lord of the sheep, how he wrought much slaughter amongst them in their herds, until those sheep invited that slaughter and betrayed his place. And he gave them over into the hands of the lions and tigers and wolves and hyenas, and into the hands of the foxes, and to all the wild beasts. And those wild beasts began to tear in pieces those sheep. And I saw that he forsook that their house and their tower, and gave them all into the hand of the lions, to tear and devour them, into the hand of all the wild beasts. And I began to cry out loud with all my power, and to appeal to the lord of the sheep, and to represent to him in regard to the sheep 
that they were devoured by all the wild beasts. But he remained unmoved, though he saw it, and rejoiced that they were devoured and swallowed and robbed and left them to be devoured in the hand of all the beasts. And he called seventy shepherds and cast those sheep to them that they might pasture them. And he spake to the shepherds and their companions, Let each individual of you pasture the sheep henceforward, and everything that I shall command you, that do ye. And I will deliver them over unto you, duly numbered, and tell you which of them are to be destroyed, and them destroy ye. And he gave over unto them those sheep. And he called another and spake unto him, Observe and mark everything that the shepherds will do to those sheep, for they will destroy more of them than I have commanded them. And every excess and the destruction which will be wrought through the shepherds record, namely, how many they destroy according to my command, and how many according to their own caprice. Record against every individual shepherd all the destruction he effects, and read out before me by number how many they destroy, and how many they deliver over for destruction, that I may have this as a testimony against them, and know every deed of the shepherds, that I may comprehend and see what they do, whether or not they abide by my command which I have commanded them. But they shall not know it, and thou shalt not declare it to them, nor admonish them, but only record against each individual all the destruction which the shepherds effect, each in his time, and lay it all before me. And I saw till those shepherds pastured in their season, and they began to slay and to destroy more than they were bidden. And they delivered those sheep into the hand of the lions. And the lions and tigers eat and devoured the greater part of those sheep. And the wild boars eat along with them. And they burnt that tower and demolished that house. And I became exceedingly sorrowful over that tower, because that house of the sheep was demolished. And afterwards I was unable to see if those sheep entered that house. Chapter 89 Verses 68 through 71. First period of the angelic rulers from the destruction of Jerusalem to the return from the captivity. And the shepherds and their associates delivered over those sheep to all the wild beasts to devour them, and each one of them received in his time a definite number. It was written by the other in a book how many each one of them destroyed of them, and each one slew and destroyed many more than was prescribed. And I began to weep and lament on account of those sheep. And thus in the vision I saw that one who wrote, how he wrote down every one that was destroyed by those shepherds, day by day, and carried up and laid down and showed actually the whole book to the Lord of the sheep, even everything that they had done, and all that each one of them had made away with, and all that they had given over to destruction. And the book was read before the Lord of the sheep, and he took the book from his hand and read it, and sealed it, and laid it down. Chapter 89, verses 72 through 77. Second period, from the time of Cyrus to that of Alexander the Great. And forthwith I saw how the shepherds pastured for twelve hours, and behold, three of those sheep turned back, and came and entered and began to build up all that had fallen down of that house. But the wild boars tried to hinder them, but they were not able. And they began again to build as before, and they reared up that tower, and it was named the High Tower, and they began again to place a table before the tower, but all the bread on it was polluted and not pure. And as touching all this, the eyes of those sheep were blinded so that they saw not, and the eyes of their shepherds likewise. And they delivered them in large numbers to their shepherds for destruction, and they trampled the sheep with their feet and devoured them. And the Lord of the sheep remained unmoved till all the sheep were dispersed over the field and mingled with them. In other words, the beasts, and they, in other words, the shepherds, did not save them out of the hand of the beasts. And this one who wrote the book carried it up and showed it and read it before the Lord of the sheep and implored him on their account and besought him on their account as he showed him all the doings of the shepherds, and gave testimony before him against all the shepherds. And he took the actual book and laid it down beside him, and departed. 
End of section 13. Read by C.J. Ploke. Chapter 90 And I saw till that, in this manner, thirty-five shepherds undertook the pasturing of the sheep, and they severally completed their periods, as did the first. And others received them into their hands to pasture them for their period, each shepherd in his own period. And after that, I saw in my vision all the birds of heaven coming, the eagles, the vultures, the kites, the ravens, but the eagles led all the birds, and they began to devour those sheep, and to pick out their eyes, and to devour their flesh. And the sheep cried out, because their flesh was being devoured by the birds, and as for me, I looked and lamented in my sleep over that shepherd who pastured the sheep. And I saw until those sheep were devoured by the dogs, and eagles, and kites, and they left neither flesh nor skin nor sinew remaining on them till only their bones stood there, and their bones too fell to the earth, and the sheep became few. And I saw until that twenty-three had undertaken the pasturing and completed in their several periods fifty-eight times. Chapter 90, verses 6 through 12, fourth period, from the Greco-Syrian domination to the Maccabean revolt. But behold, lambs were born by those white sheep, and they began to open their eyes and to see and to cry to the sheep. Yea, they cried to them, but they did not hearken to what they said to them, but were exceedingly deaf, and their eyes were very exceedingly blinded. And I saw in the vision how the ravens flew upon those lambs, and took one of those lambs, and dashed the sheep in pieces, and devoured them. And I saw till horns grew upon those lambs, and the ravens cast down their horns, and I saw till there sprouted a great horn of one of those sheep, and their eyes were opened. And it looked at them, and their eyes opened, and it cried to the sheep, and the rams saw it, and all ran to it. And notwithstanding all this, those eagles and vultures and ravens and kites still kept tearing the sheep and swooping down upon them and devouring them. Still the sheep remained silent, but the rams lamented and cried out, and those ravens fought and battled with it, and sought to lay low its horn, but they had no power over it. Chapter 90, verses 13 through 19, The Last Assault of the Gentiles on the Jews, where verses 13 through 15 and 16 through 18 are doublets. And I saw, till the shepherds and eagles and those vultures and kites came, and they cried to the ravens that they should break the horn of that ram, and they battled and fought with it, and it battled with them, and cried that its help might come. And I saw, till a great sword was given to the sheep, and the sheep proceeded against all the beasts of the field to slay them, and all the beasts and the birds of the heaven fled before their face. And I saw, till that man who wrote down the names of the shepherds and carried up into the presence of the Lord of the sheep, came and helped it, and showed it everything. He had come down for the help of that ram. And I saw till the Lord of the sheep came unto them in wrath, and all who saw him fled, and they all fell into his shadow from before his face. Chapter 90, verses 20 through 27, Judgment of the Fallen Angels, the Shepherds, and the Apostates. And I saw till a throne was erected in the pleasant land, and the Lord of the sheep sat himself thereon, and the other took the sealed books, and opened those books before the Lord of the sheep. And the Lord called those men, the seven first white ones, and commanded that they should bring before him, beginning with the first star which led the way, all the stars whose privy members were like those of horses, and they brought them all before him. And he said to that man who wrote before him, being one of those seven white ones, and said unto him, Take those seventy shepherds to whom I delivered the sheep, and who, taking them on their own authority, slew more than I commanded them. And behold, they were all bound, I saw, and they all stood before him. And the judgment was held first over the stars, and they were judged and found guilty, and went to the place of condemnation, and they were cast into an abyss, full of fire and flaming, and full of pillars of fire. And those seventy shepherds were judged and found guilty, and they were cast into that fiery abyss. And I saw at that time how a like abyss was opened in the midst of the earth, full of fire, and they brought those blinded sheep, and they were all judged and found guilty and cast into this fiery abyss, 
and they burned. Now this abyss was to the right of that house, and I saw those sheep burning and their bones burning. Chapter 90, verses 28 through 38. The New Jerusalem, the conversion of the surviving Gentiles, the resurrection of the righteous, the Messiah. And I stood up to see till they folded up that old house, and carried off all the pillars, and all the beams, and ornaments of the house were at the same time folded up with it. And they carried it off and laid it in a place in the south of the land. And I saw till the Lord of the sheep brought a new house, greater and loftier than that first, and set it up in the place of the first which had been folded up. All its pillars were new, and its ornaments were new and larger than those of the first. The old one which he had taken away, and all the sheep were within it. And I saw all the sheep which had been left, and all the beasts on the earth, and all the birds of the heaven, falling down and doing homage to those sheep, and making petition to, and obeying them in everything. And thereafter those three who were clothed in white, and had seized me by my hand, who had taken me up before, and the hand of that ram also seizing hold of me, they took me up and set me down in the midst of those sheep before the judgment took place. And those sheep were all white, and their wool was abundant and clean. And all that had been destroyed and dispersed, and all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the heaven, assembled in that house. And the Lord of the sheep rejoiced with great joy, because they were all good, and had returned to his house. And I saw till they laid down that sword which had been given to the sheep, and they brought it back into the house, and it was sealed before the presence of the Lord. And all the sheep were invited into that house, but it held them not. And the eyes of them all were opened, and they saw the good, and there was not one among them that did not see. And I saw that that house was large and broad and very full. And I saw that a white bull was born with large horns, and all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air feared him, and made petition to him all the time. And I saw till all their generations were transformed, and they all became white bulls, and the first among them became a lamb, and that lamb became a great animal, and had great black horns on its head. And the Lord of the sheep rejoiced over it, and over all the oxen. And I slept in their midst, and I awoke and saw everything. This is the vision which I saw while I slept. And I awoke and blessed the Lord of righteousness and gave him glory. Then I wept with a great weeping, and my tears stayed not till I could no longer endure it. When I saw, they flowed on account of what I had seen. For everything shall come and be fulfilled, and all the deeds of men in their order were shown to me. On that night I remembered the first dream, and because of it I wept and was troubled, because I had seen that vision. End of chapter 90 Read by C.J. Plogue